Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Say, 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 can I quickly run to my post box since something just arrived? Really? Now? Yeah. Yeah. Go get it. <laughs> Give me a second. Hello, everyone. Uh, tonight uh, we are going to play the Broken Sword game that nobody remembers. <laughs> Uh, considered the worst game, Broken Sword 4, The Angel of Death. I'm, um, I had a surprise. I have the game in my collection, but uh, I couldn't find it uh, before stream, so I had to rebuy it on Steam <laughs> to be able to stream it tonight. Um, the game was released only on PC. It doesn't have um, support for the controller, so I need to play on the keyboard tonight. And uh, I don't remember, as I told you earlier, anything about this game. But uh, we said that we'll uh, do the entire series before uh, they release the new remake of the first game and the new game, the sixth one. So here we are with the fourth one. We still have uh, one to go after this one. Uh, give me one second since... Okay. This needs to shut up. Okay. I was uh, still having. You might heard some feedback. Uh, so, I what did you get? Got to mute the stream. Uh, advertisements, 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 advertisements. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, like, man. Oh. Uh, this this kind of advertisements uh, are no more in Romania. They are not working too well. Rarely I find the uh, advertisements in my uh, books. I mostly um, bring them to school uh, where I work and I let our students use them to make uh, papier mache and things like that for their artworks. Yeah, but I'm surprised that uh, this is still a thing though. Yeah, but in Belgium you can put a sticker on your mailbox uh, for those kind of shit. How much bubble wrap? It's a switch kit. It's, no, it's a package in a package. You know it what? It must I be a game. <laughs> Obviously. Tonight we are doing that. an unboxing. Yeah. Uh, you know what I said uh, on stream yesterday? That something was stuck in. Um, oh, know, in customs. Again. Yeah, in customs. I don't know. It might have arrived. Ooh, nice. I I have uh, one game to show you also. Do you know it? Metroid. Uh, yeah, it, 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 uh, Metroid's um, not Dread. It's. Um, Seventh and... Return. Yeah. Uh, it was a remake of the second game, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a good one, as I understand. Yeah. So, this is going into the trash later. Come on, you piece of... So, that's all? That's the game? Yeah, so now I have Touch Detective 2 and Touch Detective 1. Congratulations. <laughs> Complete and uh, have fun with them. Uh, for the record, uh, 60 bucks for both. Yeah, you told us that they are pretty expensive usually, so it's a mm -hmm. good deal you have there. Um, Why the fuck? You see red stars? Blue stars. Blue screen is Part not with them. us, it seems. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um... Okay, man. Let's uh, let's start the game. Yeah, fix that broken sword. And uh, let's hope uh, everything uh, will uh, work with this one. Something uh, you'll hate something about this one: the fact that uh, we'll have um, mouse on screen because uh, you use the mouse and also the keyboard. Oh no, that th th that's fine. I mean, the mouse cursor is is a point here. So it's... I hate it when we are playing a game like Tomb Raider where we barely use the mouse and you suddenly have a mouse on screen. Yeah, but uh, you'll see it's this kind of uh, mouse. Uh, 
it has the same uh, uh, icon as in uh, Windows. <laughs> Look, this. <laughs> No, not this one. This one is from uh, the stream. Look. This. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, okay. we are uh, playing... Uh, Chat.openai.com How to remove a mouse icon from a Discord chat. <laughs> uh, uh, you remember... Uh, you just sent me the link and... Uh, let me fix it before starting the game. So we are gonna play the game uh, in the maximum resolution possible. It's a 4x3 game, doesn't uh, have support for uh, widescreen. At least not officially, I didn't um, try to force it uh, in any way. And the maximum resolution, because I have a 4K uh, monitor, uh, is... Uh, 2880 by 2160. <laughs> it's a Can pretty you big see the resolution. end of the monitor? <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty big resolution for um, a 4x3 game. Usually we played these kind of games in uh, 10, 24 by 860, no? Something like that. Or, no, yeah. 768, sorry. Hold up, am I seeing that right? Is the language selection a bloody slider? Uh, yeah. Who has invented that? Man, it's uh, it's workable, so... I don't complain about the interface yet. Uh... Oh, oh, you won't stop me today. Yeah, I don't know about you. I told uh, in the beginning of our stream, but uh, you aren't uh, uh, yet uh, on stream, that uh, I don't remember anything about this game. And I think uh, a lot of the people that play the game have this problem. <laughs> I have a very good game memory. Okay, so you remember this game? To a degree. You'll see now the intro and uh, you'll uh, give me an impression after we start the game. Let's let's go into the game. For sure. And while the intro goes, I go. Yahweh, show the people of Moses your power. So, uh, who's that? I don't know, boss. I guess he works there. You think he's packing? Ah, guy rides a desk. Ever want a position? Uh-huh. Don't screw this up, Tony. Hey, trust me, boss. Hey, you know I do. Okay, boy. It's playtime.
what happened to the pizza. Oh, sorry, Virgil. Pizza's off till we pay Mort that 20 bucks we owe him. <laughs> what chance of that? Hey, something smells nice. Uh, you got a visitor. Business? I sure hope so. Oh, uh, hi. Can I help you? Mr. Stobart? That's me. Thank God. I thought you'd never get here. <laughs> it's that kind of neighborhood. Please, Mr. Stobart, I need your help. Oh, you want a bail bond? Oh, no, not a bail bond. You see, there are some men. They're after me. They want to kill me. Well, if they find me here, they'll probably want to kill you, too. I have a manuscript, you see, and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, miss. Anna Maria. Anna Maria, this, this is a bail bond agency. I'm a lawyer, and you need the police. But there isn't time. Lady, in my experience, there is always time. Now do you believe me? Are those the guys yes, that... Yes, and if we don't get out of here... Them panic ensues. <laughs> my trusty telescopic nine iron. Now, you would assume that after Broken Sword 3, George and Nico stayed together. Well, it's too late to call the cops. We have to we'll get out see. of here and fast. I, I do have to say, safe. good music. Nothing worth putting in it. Nope, the padlock's never going to break, but the bracket doesn't look up to much. Now I'm going to quickly look up who did uh, voice work here, since it sounds like a different actor for George. Good evening. Yeah. Aren't you supposed to be good at this sort of thing? No, not anymore. I gave it up. Tell that to them. Yeah, right. So what do we do now? I'm working on it. Anyway, I, I don't remember anything about this beginning of the game. I do, so I can give you sometimes hints. Can we get out through here? I don't know. You want to go back down? Are you crazy? Exactly. <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to have it to ourselves for long. What did you do to those guys? I have a manuscript. They want it. Let me guess. It ain't poetry. It contains the secret location of a priceless treasure. Oh, terrific. I should have known. It's been in my family for years. I started to decode it, drew too much attention to myself, and now this. Well, thanks for asking me along. Really appreciate it. So where are we? I don't know. I've never been up here before. That's the elevator. Weird. I wonder who could be... Are you crazy? The bad guys, that's who. I can't hold this forever, George. I also find it very enjoyable to have a conversation with only my mouth moving and not my body. But some animations in your game, goddammit! I remember. This part I remember. Uh, man, that, but the controls are uh, jerk. 
the word you're looking for are, is jank. Jerk is a noun. Jank, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Unless you find the controls, All a jerk. have been removed. <laughs> Shame the elevator power doesn't run from this circuit. Speaking of which, um, earlier I sent it uh, to Clement is, yes, I'm still learning Romanian. Anime and is stopping the elevator's door from closing. I am using, I uh, I'm using Deeple. Oh, uh, no, um, uh, the Bird app, um, Duolingo, to learn. But it doesn't tell me essential things, like, thing um, if you would want to say the boy in Romanian, how do you say it again? Uh, Bayato. Damn it, this isn't gonna work. The you hear Clement say wall. one word I while it's in English, words. two words. But he taught me that things like D is mostly a suffix in Romanian. I'm telling the right thing, yeah? Ain't I? Yes, yes. While in Dutch, we uh, we do it like in English. But a bit more in a Frenchy way. Uh, we don't have masculine and feminine words, uh, but well, we do. But the difference is less pronounced. All the fuses have been removed. I'm leaving. <laughs> hey, Silvio, help me get this door open. Oh no. We need to find another way out. The voice actor for George, by the way, is the exact same. Which is surprising to me, since, in my opinion, he is doing a very different performance in this game. Or is it only me that's hearing this? No, that's why I uh, was surprised, because for me, it sounded like uh, in the previous game. Man, we need a, a box. And I think this one is the only one. I'll never pull this off by myself. Okay. Anna Maria is stopping the elevator's door from closing. I need to find a way to help her. The doors are trying to close. It's just as well Anna Maria is on top of things. Okay. Something, something infinite stamina. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. She's Some a tough kind one. of grill covering an old extractor mm -hmm. fan. Looks like it was plastered into the wall. Uh, okay. Oh, what's the point? The golf club just isn't up to the job. I need something else. All the fuses have been removed. I think between the fourth one and the fifth one was the biggest uh, um, distance in Breaks. years. Break, yeah. yeah. Because the this one let, was a big failure. Let me quickly look it up. So this was 2007. Uh, 2013 was five. Okay, so six years. And now we have the biggest break, basically. Um, Broken Sword 3, my man. It's 2003. Yeah, and Broken Sword 2 was 97? Yes. So uh, also six years. So now we have the biggest difference between five and uh, six months. 
Mm-hmm. It's strange because the fifth one had uh, some success. I'm sure it was uh, much better received than the, this one. <laughs> Fuses have been removed. Yeah, maybe they went out golfing. That's why it took them so long. Or they decided to remake the first game again. To be very honest, I would have rather seen a definitive edition of the third game than another remake of the first game. It's like Pokemon Blue remakes all over again. Anna Maria is stopping the elevator's door from closing. I need to find a way to help her. I don't know why I remember that I need to push a box here, but I don't find any. Shall I be less subtle with a hint? Uh, no, no, I got it. It's pretty stupid, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> now that should hold it. Lucky the old Stobart Club has a locking device. Thanks. That was a good idea. Yeah, clever, huh? Now, with all due respect, um, the voice acting for Anna Marie here, if she is supposed to be American, Quick, give me a hand with this grill. He doesn't sound sure. like it. She sounds... Wales? Scottish? More? Welsh. That was the word I was looking for, by the way. Whoops. Man, this shit all over again, and the mechanics are much worse. I mean, the controls. <laughs> you are not used to them. That should stop anyone from calling the elevator. Okay, can we save? Okay. Apparently we can. Because I'm afraid we don't have any auto saves in this game. True. Uh, the graphics are uh, okay, -ish, I would say. This had better be worth it. It will be. I only seen the ponytail of Anna Marie doing weird shit, but uh... yeah, man. But uh, what can you expect for a point-and-click adventure or an adventure? It's... But this one is is point-and-click. I mean, the mouse is back. But anyway, I think 2007 is the year that uh, Crisis got released. <laughs> uh, what? Crisis. Yeah. To have a comparison, what uh, was possible mm -hmm. at that time. <laughs> I'm also looking into the voice work of um, Regina Regan, who did the voice of a uh, lovely Blondie here. You know uh, who she vo voiced as well. Miss Pac-Man. Ah, I never played that game. Or played a movie. <laughs> and in Flight of the Amazon Queen, she also did voice work. Oh, that's one of my favorite games from back in the nineties. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I'm very nostalgic about that game. Uh, it's uh, it's like Indiana Jones. And the Infernal Machine. 
it's uh, very similar. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at things. Man, I need to get her also somehow. Come here or something. <laughs> oh, that was <clears throat> some weird clipping there. Oh yeah, this shit. We are gonna pull an Indiana Jones here. It's firmly attached to the roof. It's funny how she still isn't upstairs. No. Oh, I there she is. She is. <laughs> Anna Marie doesn't need any man's help. She just needs to be off screen for just a while. Why was that voice crack all of a sudden? Oh, what was that leg spike? What? Was it a leg spike or a Discord leg spike? Uh, I didn't uh, see anything. Then it's a Discord lag spike. But I read uh, on Steam that the game has some problems with the frame rate, and uh, they are describing a fix there. And I put that fix. I mean, let's mm. hope everything will be fine. Yeah, I, I, I had some, you know, when uh, a video is buffering and it's coming slowly through and then suddenly it speeds up to be able to catch up. That's what it's happens. Gonna move. It's bolted firmly to the roof. Yeah, yeah, it has. Uh... I seen it also. No. <laughs> um, okay, can I get to, to the other side? Oh yeah, maybe I can get up here. Well, in Dutch we have a saying: it's "Bolted firmly to the roof." With time and sandwiches. Huh. I can't That's ever remember having this much. Basically, definition. with. Um, are saying with some effort. Okay, how do I get up here? You don't. This is a janky puzzle. No chance of breaking through there. But it has a good hook in it. Okay. Uh, I can select that. I see, I see what you can't see, and it's a hint I'm not gonna give since I don't think you're hint ready yet. It's something selectable? 
Because I have a problem with this. It doesn't seem to be selectable, everything here. Maybe. You see? So the, the stairs are not selectable, but uh, you can use them. Or not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ooh! Okay. See that it has a good hook with it? Damn, I can't quite reach it. <laughs> Do you think uh, we'll ever have a collection of Broken Sword games re-released? Um, can you be a bit more specific with I your mean, question? I mean, to have uh, all the games re-released. Let's say a Broken Sword collection. 1 through 5 or 1 to, through 6. For 1 to 5, do I need to get my collection from my cover? No, no, no. A re release for console or something. For a newer system. I don't know. Referring. For 100 bucks or something, maybe. Yeah, but I'm not sure it's uh, doable. The from the technical point of view. To reach. Well. They. They ported um, Broken Sword 1 and... Hmm. Hang on, Anna I'll find a way to get you across. I guess this one is the most difficult one to be ported. Hmm. Maybe if they did some finagling with the Broken Sword 3 engine, they might get this one. Okay, Anna Maria, you can cross the alley on the joists. Because whispering in open air across buildings, it's really it's... gonna work, George. <laughs> Thanks, George. Now let's make sure they can't follow us. <clears throat> because. Just Those men it. are not monkeys and they we'll can't swing. Look, I'm sorry I'm poking too many holes in this one, but You know what? I'm in a I sour mood today. Make it. I underestimated you. A lot of people make that mistake. So, are you for hire? Depends on the deal. Ten thousand up front, ten thousand when you decode the manuscript. I'm for hire. Uh, just one question. Why me? The manuscript is covered in medieval symbols. And you do medieval, don't you? Sure, I do medieval. I even do medieval under fire. You won't regret it, Mr. Stover. Please, call me George. Okay, George. But tell me, how are we going to get out of here? Trust me, we'll find a way. So yeah, <clears throat> the frame rate uh, is not uh, the best. <laughs> Even uh, now, if we are playing on uh, 280 Ti. <laughs> uh, to be very fair, from what I have seen now, and remembering me playing it, I don't think this game is that bad. In terms of uh, frame rate or in terms of gameplay? In terms of general overall package. I don't know if uh, it had the same uh, sport as the third one. It would be much better. Well, technically, you can try to use a controller, but since there is so much mouse in this game... Hang on! I'll find a way to get back to you! 
it's not a good idea. They came up this way. Now, this looks funny. The, uh, to be very honest, uh, don't drop down for a moment. Look at the model of George. Doesn't this look GameCube y? Like, or late Nintendo 64 y? I don't know, it doesn't move at all. That's scary. <laughs> yeah, that. That, that, that's one of my main complaints with this game. Animations. Use the fucking things. If I had a ventriloquist, I could make a point here, but... Ooh. Okay, George, why the fuck can you jump there and not earlier? I think it's a bigger distance there. No, because video game logic and video game progression. I'm gonna bet he's gonna find a plank to let Anna Marie walk over it. Let me guess, this is a box pulling thing. Hmm. The section of pipe was pretty rusty. No surprise it broke. New York plumbers, huh? The section of pipe was pretty rusty. It was so much floor missing. Yeah, understandable. Have a great day. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I want to run. Doesn't work. Yeah, only left shift, oh. bro. Man, how stupid! So you need the uh, you use the mouse wheel, not by pressing it, by <laughs> uh, scrolling up. We <laughs> go we. What? Okay, I, this is not what I intended, but. Uh, Ooh. I think you can die in this game. Damn, those cables look dangerous. Best keep clear. Wow. Oh. I haven't said something yet. My man Clamet. What? Shall we tomb pray tomorrow? Uh, if you can, for sure. We shall. Nice. Uh, I told you we can even start earlier. 
depends. I have a few things on my plate that I don't want to do during my holidays. <laughs> so, uh, I will let you know. Man, how do I get up there? <laughs> I'm fighting with the controls, to be honest. Um, maybe this will be uh, an early modern controls Tomb Raider thing. Uh, push up. And the frame rate it's something else. Okay. It's not oh. Alan Wake too bad. Remember that disaster? Yeah, this is something else. <clears throat> the door's unlocked, but something is blocking it from the other side. How do you know it's unlocked then? I'm poking um. too much, too many logic holes in, in this tutorial. Okay, we need to go down there again. You know, it's something. This game uh, looks like a, a game intended to be released released on consoles. If you look a bit uh, the way it controls, but uh, it wasn't. I'm wondering what happened. You I'm pretty sure out. they wanted uh, you... initially to you release can... it on console. You can find out if you watch the bonus DVD in the collection, where they talk about the history of the games. They wow, talk about that. Don't make me open that one. <laughs> I, I, I still have it sealed. I, I guess I can find it on uh, YouTube now. Maybe. Uh... Damn, those cables look dangerous. Let's keep clear. Can I go outside? Thou cannot. So, you want to share with us a bit about this? If you I only remember the... they, talked about, ah, okay. they talked about it. It has been years since I've seen it. At least 10 years. Okay, so did you get up earlier? Push up. I did not, but <laughs> only when he wants. It. Okay. Can you go down? Okay, right one thing, so we need to yeah. do something uh, with the cables, maybe from the next member. Okay, I got a rope. Yeah, and what's that doing for us? Hold up. I, I, I remember this. <laughs> I need to use the rope with the cables or something like that. Uh, close the door.
it should be able to close the door. Yes, this is stupid. What the? Oh, uh, by the way, uh, you notice when I said he is gonna find the plank? Maybe it's as big as a fucking door. You want me to uh, use the rope with the door and something like that? <laughs> Not your rope. I need to go back, man, or... Uh... Do I need to kick the door in? Oh, God. This is make us stupid. <laughs> But it does make sense, though. Doors bolted. No wonder it won't open. This is what we call this. Yeah, the frame rate is very janky at the moment. Now, to be honest, I think it's 30, which was the standard at the Dance time, and we are used to 60 at the moment, or higher. Breaker switch just won't stay in one position. That pipe must have given it a hell of a wall. A hell of a what? Hmm, that won't work here. The breaker switch keeps jumping back to the on position. That's not quite right. Okay. Hold this breaker switch for me, would you? Sure. Now they had some good music. Where the fuck is it again? I don't know. Personally, I can't wait to go past this rain because it's fucking with my ears. Uh, I don't know. Uh, down. I need to go down on top. Down, 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 down.
to the left. And however that sun goes. One hop this time. Definitely the weakest uh, start of any Broken Sword game we've played yet. <laughs> to be fair... The cables may not be sparking, but I still don't want to touch them. It's a good tutorial section that doesn't force you to say, uh, press this button, press this button, press this button. Yeah, I don't know. With tutorials in uh, point and click adventures. Thanks, George. Now let's get out of here. She's a ghost. She can teleport. Not quite right. A door. Maybe a way out of here. No way through there. Yeah, it it shut Earth. No way am I touching those live cables. As old Granny Stobart always used to say, never play with matches or live power cables. Ironic, given the way she died. Still, I guess it's saved on the cremation. That's some fine-tuned British humor. That's not quite right. Man, so I can click from here and he goes up there to use the door. <laughs> you know how fast this goes? I can get my cat faster. Oh, I can't lift the shutters. that Anna Maria could you hold up the shutters for me I'll try okay here we go oh I'm sorry you're just too heavy hey Anna Maria would you turn this handle for me? Okay, George. <laughs> I am not gonna do that. <laughs> Come on, Anna Marie, I can't hold it for long. I'm with you, George. No. No, I'm not gonna make the joke. Where now? <laughs> Brooklyn, my hotel. The manuscript is in a safe in my room. Uh, any ideas how we get there? Taxi? Come on. That's amazing. First taxi I ever saw stop in this neighborhood. Hell! This is bad, Tony! This is merely a screw-up! No way is this a screw-up! 
Yeah, maybe you're right. I found her bag. At least now we know where she's staying. Dumbass. We already know where she's staying. We do? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a screw up, all right. George, look. I know. It's a crime against interior design. No, the guy by the desk, he's one of them. Okay, Nico, here's how we play it. Nico? What? Uh, I, 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 sorry, uh, here's how we do it. I go in, find your room, then you sneak around the back of Anna Jan. Only one problem, my key was in my bag. So? I lost my bag. Ah, well, uh, don't worry. I'll figure out a way, trust me. I do, with my life. Hey, I wouldn't go that far. So, uh, what's your room number? 23, second floor. Right, I'll get in there somehow and open a window for you. I'll be in the alley. Good luck. You got my cell number? Yeah, don't worry. Thanks for letting me use your phone, buddy. Uh, where the fuck did she disappear to? Uh, she was afraid of that guy <laughs> to not see her. Uh, yeah, ag agreed, but she was next to. Gosh. Ah. I Where? mean, she teleported. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We established that one. Yeah. Uh, man, um, I'm wondering something. I want to propose to you to take a few minutes break. Uh, to try to fix this frame rate because uh, it's killing uh, me. I don't know about you. I mean, uh, I can switch to the As other camera and wish. try to 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 look into it a bit. What do you say? As you wish. No, because uh, we are at the beginning of the stream, and uh, if we play with this uh, frame rate, uh, it will be bad. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So. Thankfully, it, it it it's not. Uh... I don't wake too bad yet. No, it's a different uh, situation here. Look at my cat. I'm distracting chat. I, I, I still... Tell me, can you hear him purring? No. How? I don't know. What kind of a studio microphone do I need to buy? Okay. Or is everybody gaslighting me and can you hear him? Or... Now, I do remember how this game ends, that I do. But I'm not gonna spoil that. Let's hope uh, we'll make it working, work better. <laughs> because I hate this uh, 10 frames per second that we have. Nah, it's not 10. Yeah, it's 10, man. If you look at the animation, It's 11. <laughs> okay. It's like you said, N64 era. Okay. Maybe this game wasn't made for such a high resolution.
Ok. So, Neko, if you have some games to show us, now is the moment. <laughs> Until uh, I'll the, make sure uh, everything works. Uh. The more recent games I bought were Rayman DS, Touch Detective 1, Touch Detective 2, but I'm kind of occupied because I have a cat on my lap. As previously stated, I'm kind of occupied because I've had on my lap. <laughs> um, okay, let's see if it's better now. Seems much better. What did you change? I changed back uh, the settings recommended to fix it. <laughs> I changed back to the default. So you excuse me, you fix it by unfixing it. Help me. Exactly. Maybe, maybe not. Are you the receptionist? I'm the manager. Name's Alfonso. You could call me Mr. Alfonso. Where's the receptionist? She went AWOL. Good for nothing, lazy broad. Who is the guy who just left? Is he a guest? No, he just came in to use my phone. Normally, I don't let people come in off the street and use the facilities, but uh, uh, he's got a nice face. What a surprisingly sweet, sentimental man you are. What? So, you've been running this place long? It's been in my family for generations. You must be very proud. You seem a little stressed. Wouldn't you be if your receptionist just up and left? Look on the bright side. You got a shortcut to the quiet life right there in your hand. I thought that smoking was banned in public places in New York. You got a problem with me smoking, you leave. Leave? I love this place. I'm looking for a room for one night. Maybe something with a view? We're full. Take this flyer. Book ahead next time. What a hotel. So busy and yet so charmingly quiet. A triumph. Are you sure you don't have a room for a night? Are you calling me a liar? No, I yes. thought maybe you'd got the dates confused. You saying I got that memory disease, huh? <laughs> What's the name of that damn thing? Uh, awesome. Hey, forget it. What? Hey, what do you think of my invention? Not a lot. Lucky Einstein never stayed here. <laughs> About a room. This dry beat exactly is humor. Know, do you not understand? About a room. Exactly what part of no do you not understand? The lighters behind the glass partition. Alfonso, still looking grumpy as ever. Hey, you, leave that clock alone. I was just admiring it. Ah, so you've had that new laser eye surgery, have you? Huh? The surgery that attaches your eyeballs to your hands? But I don't have... Oh, <laughs> I get it. You do? So back up. You bet. Um, my father has an old such grandfather clock. clock. What are you? Looks like an antique. <clears throat> yeah. Probably the only thing in this place that's worth anything. Um, it's beautiful. My father is gonna be annoyed that I don't exactly remember this, but um, somewhere in my family tree we have a clockmaker. I've got no idea what it's used for. Those clocks hang in my father's house. I've got nothing to put in. The last of them. And they are antique grandfather clocks. My father can fix them. It's amazing. Hey, you need your room key card to open those doors. No key card, no getting in. Even I it's... didn't have such an old clock. <laughs> and I'm older than you. <laughs> Much older. 
around 10 to 15 years. Hmm. So. Out of order. Okay. I mean, what is age after you turn 30? Maybe we should read the book. That's not quite right. It's or talk the about the book. the lounge in New York Hotel. On the top is the hotel number. I guess it could be useful. I'm still trying to get a hold of a key card. Well, you better hurry, George. These guys are sure to spot me soon. I'm on it. Bye. <laughs> I am not going to do that. What, 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 what were you planning? To put the number in the phone that was already in the phone? Uh, man, I'm not going to book a flight to Romania to hear you if you're muted. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to give her the the phone number so she called the hotel. Oh, very fair, very fair. Are you seriously going to do this? <laughs> it's fun, no? Alfonso's hotel? What do you want? Hi there, I was wondering if you could help me. Hey. <laughs> Mystery caller. Yes? <laughs> you do know that I can see you, don't you? Ah, uh, yes. And you know I don't have any rooms. Well, yeah, kind of. Then what part of completely full don't you understand? There might have been a cancellation. You'll be the first to know. Now get off the line! <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Cheesy pictures of local places I'd never want to visit. Are they by chance pizza restaurants? <laughs> I'm sorry, was that too cheesy? Excuse me. All right, all right. Take my money, but don't hurt me. I was just wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions. Oh. Oh, I, I see. I thought you were one of those awful gangster rappers. <laughs> dressed like this? Well, exactly. They don't dress well, do they? <laughs> Apply cold water to the burnt area. The burnt area is the whole of George Tobart. So, what brings you to New York? Cackling, Brent, Pinkfoot. Come again? Bean, Brent, and Barnacle? Uh, yeah. Geese, sir, wild geese, Alsa, Albrefranz, Branta, Bernicla, the great ocean wanderers. I'm here to purchase some rare watercolors depicting geese. Paintings of geese, huh? I guess it beats stuffing them. If you don't mind me geese saying, is delicious. you look a little nervous. The World Wide Web declared this place to be a boutique hotel gem, the like of which Philip Stark himself would be proud. Not your view, huh? No, sir. It is a rat-infested, urine-stained hellhole. I fully expect I shall be mugged, held to ransom, or even... Even what? It doesn't bear thinking about. So why don't you go somewhere else? I would. Sadly, the dealer from whom I am purchasing the paintings is indisposed. And he only has the number for this hotel to contact me. I simply cannot go home without my geese. Well, I guess that's the price you pay for art. That was my cat. <laughs> yeah. If you heard something. Mm, not really, since I, I I had an answer ready of what the, this guy just said. He said, that's the price you pay for art. Or be an IT guy in an art school and being very lucky that you sometimes get art pieces from your students. Do you like golf? No, sir, I do not. It is a despicable game played by gold-digging Aravists. Eager to ape their betters and disguise their true origins deep within the murky masses of the lower orders. So, not a big fan then. 
Well, let me change that. Yes, sir. This is the new telescopic golf club from Stobart Industries. No more need for cumbersome bags and caddies. Simply compact it down and hit that green. Perfect for the reluctant novice such as yourself. My dear man, I can think of nothing more appalling. Please remove your horrible little golf club. As if I would deign to buy merchandise from a street hawker such as yourself. Shut the fuck up. Know that. But come on. So, hello, rules maker. Hello, man. How are you? Welcome. Key. Do you have a key card to get past those security doors? I certainly do. It makes an excellent bookmark. I seem to have misplaced mine. I don't suppose I could borrow yours? Sir, I do not know you from Adam. For all I know, you intend to enter this building under false pretenses. I only want to get up to my room. Then you shall have to see that vile creature behind the counter. <laughs> I have no desire to go to prison on your behalf. Especially as there appears to be such a shortage of soap in those establishments. Is it a good read? Oh, it's a wonderful book full of magic and wonder. And let me guess, geese? It's a scandal that it still hasn't graced the bestseller list. Oh, it's a crime, a literary crime. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. Thelwell Minster. George Stobart. What a pleasure to meet a fellow goose lover. Gotta love them geese. They are delicious. The hotel manager seems to have a chip on his shoulder. What's his problem? Oh, he's been in a foul temper ever since I arrived. But when his receptionist went missing a little while ago, he turned very nasty indeed. So, where's the receptionist gone? I have no idea. One minute she was there serving a dubious looking customer, then I believe she showed him upstairs to his room. Oh. She hasn't been down since. Do you need Did you a drawing with that? Big chap. Seriously? Powerful. Well built, scary looking? Uh, yeah, I guess that could be him. I don't suppose you know what he wanted. I think he was looking for his wife. Mistress, more like. It's been the busiest day since I arrived. A veritable fly past of undesirables. So what's a man with such good taste doing in a joint like this? When I checked the website, the hotel was a luxury five-star affair. It's clearly a sophisticated scam, a fraudulent attempt to draw rich people to this area of the city, where they will be caught in a web of evil entrapment and licentiousness. Now, rules maker, I am doing, um, I'm happy that the day is almost over for hmm. me, and it has nothing to do with streaming for you guys, it has a lot to do with uh, some I bet this is stuff happening lifeline. in my day job life, oh, and that's everything I'm gonna say you. about that. Doesn't anything work in this place? It's good that it's Friday. <laughs> It's yeah. Friday! It's Friday and we get uh, our portion of retro gaming. My singing was so bad, my microphone muted itself. So, hey. how are you, Clement? Lucas CRT. Uh, I'm doing well, I'm fine. Clement is immediately distracted by a CRT. So, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> how to it. distract Clamets? Just, just how to distract Clamets? Yeah, talk with me about a model of CRT, which is really good. Just, 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 just do this, and and you entertain a Clamet for hours. Mm. Man, you still have a CRT in your house? I don't remember. If I asked you. I had and it burned out. Ooh, if I were to touch those I'm afraid of I'd that moment. But you know something? Nasty. I have some uh, backups uh, on my other. Uh, I mean, at my. Um, Storage. Uh, in, no, 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 at my wife's house. <laughs> from uh, where she is. I mean, it's her grandfather's house. 
And let me guess, you have backups of the backups. Uh, I have uh, two more CRTs there, but are uh, much worse than uh, what I have uh, in my house. I'm not, I'm not sure how they, um, they will be if I don't use them for many uh, years. I'm not sure how they uh, resist in time if they are not used. Usually you, you still need to plug your uh, electronics from time to time. True. To make sure they are not uh, dying. <clears throat> Speaking of which, if you own a Wii U, do the same, since it can break otherwise. Yeah, it's a problem with the uh, uh, Wii U, because the last time I uh, opened the Wii U was uh, when they closed the store <laughs> and uh, I bought some of the digital uh, games. I have that game on my collection, it's sealed. Not my cup of tea. It's uh, decent. But the Wii U version is the best one or what? Uh, well, I played, I played with the 3DS link. I, there was once, I don't remember for what exactly, but a, um, still too close, well, by the way, for calling. Luck since I last called. Please hurry. Okay, bye. Um, maybe call from the shitter. Um... So, you know, it's also on 3DS, this game. And you kind of can link between both versions. Oh, really? It's not a different version? A completely different thing? Sort of, kind of. I mean, non-handheld, handheld. You could play handheld. Wii U also. Yeah, but not for for, for long distance. Ah, well, I haven't had much luck since I last wrong called. number. Please so. hurry. Okay, bye. Now, speaking about games, uh, you know, guys, if you enjoy this kind of game, point and click, we started yesterday this game. So just cross promoting our streams. Alfonso's Hotel? What do you want? Hi there, I was wondering if you could help me. I was wondering if I could speak to a Thelwell Minster? Yeah, sure. Let me put a call out over the tannoy. Hey, Thelwell, there's a call for you here. Okay, I need to do something with that book. Yes. The book's of no interest, but I'll borrow the key card. Can you believe it? I'm even getting crank calls here. You <laughs> of all people. The second my friend calls, I should be out of here too sweet. The two to the sweeter, I bet. I don't remember at all this section. You know what I remember? I remember that I I really struggled to finish this game back in the day. And I was really happy when I did. <laughs> Have you finished it? Yes. Now now that we are older and wiser, I think still this game, I'm not going to say it's the best Broken Sword game. It might be the worst Broken Sword game out of all five currently. Six if you count to uh, to that five. But it's still a decent game. I have played and seen worst, no, worst point and click games. 
Oh, I agree with this. George, it's me. You okay? I'm trapped on the fire escape. They've got guys all over the place. They haven't seen me yet, but it's only a matter of time. George, you must get into my room and open the bathroom window. Okay, just hold on and, and I don't know, look invisible. Invisible? <laughs> Standing on a fire escape? Okay, okay, I'm on to it. I'm thinking of an example, but... Um, it's the key card I stole from Thelwell. I don't remember the name at the moment. Huh? A strange noise coming from the cleaning closet. Hey, there's nothing in there that concerns you. But what's that banging inside? Beetles. The whole place is riddled with them. Beetles? Just what the heck are they feeding on? Of music uh, what? in the elevator. I'm so much struggling to not make the obvious joke. It's insane. You say music in the elevator. The door's locked. Why did be whatever's behind there has to music? be a <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hold it in. It's a dumb joke. I'm not Lift up your feet. Clear they want privacy. Because my comedy Maybe level needs to pause. Oh. What's up with this guy? Man, Drugs. What's wrong with you? Ooh, get away from there. I'm sorry, is this your room? Nope. Then why can't I go inside? Because me and my friend here, Mr. Magnum 45, wouldn't <laughs> like it. Ah, and what he says goes, right? Yeah, what he says goes. Bang! <laughs> and he is scary. Scary as in he used to do drugs. Hey, buddy, leave the window alone or I'll throw you through it. I need some fresh air. Oh, yeah? Well, go walk in the road. Now, Clement, does Romanian have a word for day after tomorrow? Uh, yes. Uh, what is it? Poimine. It's one word. In Dutch, we also have one word. It's called overmorgen. In English, we don't have Wars a word locked. for that. And in this hill, we do oh, have a word... Same. For throwing someone out of a window. It's called defenestration. Really? And I am always making that joke or that point when I hear some game character say that he is going to throw somebody out of a window. It's not even a, not only a word, it's a fucking verb as well. You know that... Um... He said uh, to go uh, walk in the street or something like that. The character now, if we want the fresh air, we have in Romania saying, uh, "Go walk the bear." Plimba ursu, walk the bear. I have heard about that one. Funny enough. Doors locked. Maybe in some point and click game or some adventure game. Um, Amazing. Even in a place like this, there are still or, some security measures. Yeah. If you think Romania and you play adventure games, I'm sorry, you think Dracula as. Um, I'm not going to open the door. When what's it's the word? Um, like saying every French guy eats baguettes and uh, drinks wine. A stereotype. Yeah. It really is. Like every every Belgian drinks beer. The number of combinations must be immense. There's no point in guessing. I think. How can uh, I get the code for the door? This is uh, for the Czechs more <laughs> than the Belgians or Germans. 
Have you tasted Belgian beer? Yeah, yeah. The number of combinations must be it's good, no isn't it? Guessing. How yeah, but it's a code for the door. The Czech beer, it's better, in my opinion. <laughs> And I'm talking as somebody who. A simple pneumatic if I... by the cleaner's closet. Someone must think that the cleaning materials are worth stealing. Drank more than 20 pints of beer. It's a lot. I barely drink. Very good for you. I like to drink beer, but. Uh... From time to time. Uh, one of the main reasons is I was a scout hey leader. Can I help you, Mister? I'm looking. Yeah, Look by not guys. clipping. <laughs> it's, out it's out of bounds, are man. <laughs> no, are you? I could get myself in trouble here. No, I'm just looking for a friend. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. Beat it. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Heartbreak Hotel, huh? Beat it. Now, um, what I was about to say is I uh, was a scout leader one time and um, I have seen my fellow scout leader do some stupid shit when they were drunk and I was like, we, are st and dusty. we still are here to look after people's kids. The flowers so are completely dry. Alfonso sure knows how to treat a plant. From tea tree to tinder in one easy lesson. And besides, uh, why drink yourself silly? Well, it's uh, something different. You can enjoy a beer, especially a good beer, without uh, being silly. <laughs> I love you saying that since some drinking culture here in Belgium is very different. There's a guy up here guarding your room. Can't you get rid of him somehow? I'm working on it. Gotta go. Okay, bye. Okay. Very helpful. I don't know, for me, the thing with alcohol is that uh, I preferred uh, every uh, from early on <coughs> to to be very awake and enjoy the games <laughs> and I'm not joking about this <coughs> so this is one of the reasons that I kept myself uh, away from alcohol but uh, I'm drinking socially I mean when, uh... yeah that, that that's certainly fine but um I have to take too many uh, really aspirins and such like for this, but it could be useful. my for my sinuses and such. So yeah, a perfectly preserved fumigated beetle. Nice. Alcohol and and medication. <laughs> I am not going to do that. Hmm. Holy shit. I just got a notification on my phone. Using that um, won't work. Of uh, our local soccer uh, league. That's not and, the right approach. Um, the, <laughs> the teams on spot three and four no try are playing each other. And it's six one. <laughs> what is happening? Oh. Using that won't work. Okay, what should we do? This. Uh... Now there is a little Easter egg here. Mm, that won't work here. Mm -hmm. Can you click on the man's shoes? Oh. Uh, 
are huh it's not even triggering that's a shame or maybe i need to use the no in my notes it said um that the guy mentions that you're not allowed to step on his shoes. Open the door when it's clear they want privacy. Because um, don't step on my blue sedu shoes. Won't work. Which is a reference to one of Elvis' songs. Using that won't work. Okay. We really need an emote for good music. Part of an antiquated fire alarm system. Something like this species. Using that won't work. No way am I doing that. Uh. Hey, get away from there. I'm only looking for some bleach for my bathroom. Well, go look someplace else. Anybody ever tell you you have wonderful people skills? Flowers feel dry and dusty. Using that won't work. Man, we still have something around here. I don't see. Uh, nay, no, maybe it's time. You again? What do you want? I was just wondering if you'd seen my friend yet. No, and if you got any sense, you won't either. Huh? And another thing, get off of my blue suede shoes. Oh, there yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's time. I've got no reason to try that. A uh, time for a uh, time for a call, or what? I'm for subtle hint. Okay, give me a hint. I just gave you one, my man. With time? <laughs> yeah. Ah, you mean the clock down there? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the clue. <laughs> you know. I don't know why I was thinking that I cannot go back then. But I don't know why. You, <laughs> you you know how how subtle I can be sometimes with clues. Just throw them in the conversation randomly, <laughs> as if you never noticed it, not that, do that that I gave a clue. Sometimes chat notices. Sometimes they don't. But I'm going to take. A one minute bathroom break. I'll be back. Mm, that won't work here. Hey, what did I tell you about those hands? That they were so lovely I should do hand modeling for cigarette ads. Get out of here. Excuse me, Mr. Alfonso. Can you spare a moment? 
What do you think this is, a hotel? Oh, <laughs> don't worry. I'd never make that mistake. So, what's with the nervous guy? Yeah, I drove him from Virginia. Had the nerve to say our website was all lies. I wouldn't mind, but we don't even have a website. <laughs> he seems a little nervous. Been here two days, waiting on a phone call. Says it's too dangerous to go outside. <laughs> With you on reception, I'd take my chances outside any day. So, what happened to your receptionist? Probably got to get her hair done. She should concentrate on that hairy lip of hers first. You are all charm. You gotta be in my game, pal. That grandfather clock is beautiful. Ain't it, though? Worth the fortune. Next year, I'm trading it in for a condo in Florida. Who's the shifty-looking guy upstairs? You talking about one of my guests? Looks like Elvis. So, maybe he is. A lot of celebrities stay here. Thank you very much. Elvis left the building. Uh, Who's the shifty-looking like guy yet. upstairs? Hmm. From your description, uh... Probably a guest. What? About a room. Exactly what part of no do you not understand? So, what's with the security doors? This city is rough and unforgiving. Hmm, a bit like your face. Uh, George, if you ever forget what no is, it's the opposite of yes. Okay? Remember it. I will I, I, I will leave it up there for a moment. Hmm, that won't work here. But somewhere else it will. Oh, tried yeah. uh, the uh, clock can you already. Spare a, moment? a moment? Moments endowed as they are by our maker are never spare, my good man. Tush! <clears throat> Maybe the order was important. I'm saying that because sometimes point and click games do this shit. That's not the right approach. Using that won't work. It should. That's how I remember. This is out of order too. Doesn't anything work in this place? That's not quite right. Oh, oh no 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 no! I remember. Um, Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. If you go in front or to the right, Mr. Alfonso will see you. If you go to the left of the grandfather clock, he won't. Oh my God! Really? That's not quite right. Hey, what did I tell you about those hands? That they were so lovely I should do hand modeling for cigarette ads. Get out of here. No, no, no. Hey, what did I tell you about those hands? That they were so lovely, I should do hand modeling for cigarette ads. Get out of here. The beetle and the grandfather clock is a solution, yeah. Ah, 
That's not quite right. The positioning is a thing. Let me quickly look it up again where the exact position was. Using that won't work. Since it's something I'm clearly remembering and not looking at a walkthrough mm, or something. That won't work here. Using that won't work. An old grandfather clock. An old grandfather clock. So, okay. Hold Maybe. on. I hope it's not like yesterday when you told me something wrong and didn't let me play the game <laughs> how it was supposed to. There's no Hello. point, it's out of order. I, I, I'm this is out of order too. Thousand percent sure. Place? No, uh, anyway, I, I don't want to faucets, I'd catch something pretty nasty. I mean, it was enough that uh, I opened this section also because uh, I forgot that uh, I can access it again. Um, it's not a hint, but it, it, it it's literally a pixel thing. The beetle and the grandfather clock. An old grandfather clock. An old grandfather clock. That's not such a good idea. And uh, the Let's Player I looked at placed it in the middle, uh, in on the bottom middle of the clock face. No, no, really in mm, that won't work here. Like from mm, that won't from work here. there more down, S but still in the clock face. Here? Uh, no, a bit more towards Alfonso. Stay a little bit more. Stay a little bit more. Yeah, give or take there. <laughs> I am not gonna do that. That's where the let's play clicked. Hey, what did I tell you about those hands? Maybe we need to s do something so first. Do hand for cigarette ads. Uh, no. Yeah. I'm quite sure. Man, Another I, I, I play... hate that you don't uh, have a, uh, a hint regarding uh, if you are on a different uh, object and you don't True. have the name of the object. True. I mean, it's very hard to do pixel hunting like this. And it's... another uh, Let's Player clicked uh, almost in the no right, am I doing that. in the top right corner. I mean, you mean here? Yeah. <laughs> I am not going to do that. What? Uh... Well, it seems that we are uh, clicking where we should, but... Uh... Mm, that won't yeah. Work here. It doesn't want to do that. Maybe it's a resolution Using shit thing? That won't work. Hey, what did I tell you about those hands? <sighs> that they were so lovely I should do hand modeling for cigarette ads. Get out of here. You know what, actually? Hold on. <laughs> I am not going to do that. 
Man, I, I don't know why I I have the feeling that uh, we should do something else first. I'm gonna sh just show you. You see my webcam? Yes. Uh, but he doesn't use. Yeah, the beta. I, I'm. I'm not understanding. This is how I remember progressing here in the hotel. Yeah, man, but maybe hey, you need to do what something I tell first. You about those hands? That they were so lovely, I should do hand modeling for cigarette ads. Yeah. I mean, if you want to be sure, uh, just uh, uh, look uh, at a walkthrough and see if it's something that was uh, we were supposed to do earlier. But mm -hmm. uh, even so, don't give me that hint. Just give me, tell me that uh, it's this situation and uh, I will still look for it. Because yesterday you had the same problem. I mean, you remember something, but uh, you remember uh, you forgot about a thing that we had to do first. I'm afraid it's the I same. I feel attacked. <laughs> I'm bullied. <laughs> so, I man, <laughs> come on. It's too much. <laughs> I am not gonna do that. I am gonna try. I'm right, no? <laughs> no, you're not. Meanwhile, while I was making a joke, I was buying myself time to read the um, the walk the walkthrough here. So it basically says when you enter the lobby, get the flyer. Look at the lighter behind the glass partition, which you did. Uh, I didn't. I just tried to take it. Look, it's a different thing. I hope it's not that kind of shit. Tasteless gold-plated lighter. It must be Alfonso's pride and joy. I think it is. If it's th th that simple click, I'm gonna be pissed. That's not the right approach. Hmm, that won't work here. Now, in, in the work tree, he stood more in the middle, in front of the clock. <laughs> I am not gonna do that. No, it's the same. Maybe I need to talk with him about the lighter. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? Possibly. <sighs> if you make it quick. Look, man. You are wrong again and again. That's a lovely lighter. Okay, you know what? <laughs> That's all I got left to remind me of my old man. Oh. That poor bastard died in a gas explosion. Shame. They found his lighter half a mile away. Polished up nice, though, don't you think? It was me trying to help the being bullet into the ground. Partition. And now I'm doing a bit to be entertaining to the viewers and to try to get sympathy. An old grandfather clock. Is the bit working? Chat is not reacting. I think the bit is not working. Mm, Shit. That won't work here. That's not quite right. That's not such a good idea. <laughs> I am not going to do that. Hey, what did I tell you about those hands? That they were hmm. so lovely, I should do hand modeling for cigarette ads. Get out of here. I just re-looked at the stream. And it's an us thing. What? Uh, there is something back upstairs where 
you did the click and I I seen it as another click. You know you have in the menu two options? Okay. You need to do the other option too. It's di it's this kind of stupid. Uh, man, you know something? If uh, you don't have a hint, it was like yesterday. Yesterday I was going to go out outside. Today, if you didn't give me that hint, I was going to try to look again at the objects and do also looking and uh, using. No, so... no, no, no. Hold on. It, 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 it's something extremely stupid at the moment. It, it's actually two clicks. The first one. Ooh, that's nasty. A pile of dead bugs at the bottom of the stairwell. It's that's a not... massacre. Bodies everywhere, legs in the air. Reminds me of that party Ross threw for my 21st. <laughs> Heck, he should be getting out of jail soon. And I also looked it up. Ooh, it's. That's um. Nasty. Dead bugs at the bottom of the I stairwell. looked it up in on the speed running uh, threads is uh, they are looking for a way to be able to if you picked it up also to have the other oh, scene count fire alarm system. so that you um, part of an antiquated fire alarm system part of an antiquated fire alarm system George shut up for a second um so that both count so that you can do one click for two now go above the f um above the flowers there should be a sprinkler above there It's in the middle of the hallway, on the top. This? On, no, 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 on the ceiling. Oh. Those sprinklers look like they could squirt out lots of water. Now you should have a new talking point with Alfonso. Those sprinklers look like they could squirt out lots mm. of water. And it's exactly this shit click. Yeah, For... but uh... no, no. Hold Excuse on, me. hold on, hold on, hold on. I I know what you're you gonna say. Remind me of someone, but I can't put my finger on it. Well, I'm one of a kind. There is no one like me. Oh. Uh -huh. No, still can't place it. The fire sprinkler click is gonna open one conversation you think another click would open with Alfonso it's a stupid thing it's not a meeting don't blame this on me or if you want to blame it on me for a bit go ahead but you know back in the day uh, there were some games point and click games that I refuse to look uh, for hints and uh, I've stayed for days <laughs> blocked and I was thinking what I should try and something like that stupid uh, I'm not doing that anymore and for this game because I've played it already I don't have a big problem looking at some hints mm -hmm. I have a problem when I play for the first time a point and click but uh, yeah, even, yeah. And even uh, in this situation, now I have a rule, like, uh, if I'm blocked for one day, I will uh, look for a solution. If I'm not able to unblock myself in that day. Uh, for me, it's instead of a day, it's an hour. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? <sighs> if you make it quick. Why the fuck didn't it not unlock? Do you need really need to click the sign on in the stairway of the fumigation in progress? 
Uh, what? I have three different walkthroughs open on my other monitor, and they are saying three fucking different things. I hate this section. Okay, let's uh, make a rule. Let's close all the walkthroughs after uh, we finish this section and uh, try to do it uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. by I, ourselves. I know. And uh, Luke uh, uh, will uh, use your rule for uh, one hour. <laughs> yeah, I because know. Uh, you otherwise, you, uh, need, yeah. you need to click on the sign uh, of currently closed fumigation. That's on the stair. I opened it because I wanted to make sure what we were missing for uh, the beetle. Since that's a vivid memory I had placing the beetle on the clock. No, no, on the stair to the second floor, uh, to the third floor. Yeah, that one. I don't want to cross the barrier for fear of my health. Old Uncle Stobart was a bug buster. The chemicals he used sent him over the edge. Of course, at the time, we just put it down to the booze. But when we cremated him, the toxic cloud shut down half the city. Okay. So, close all your walkthroughs and... Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, I, I Hold on. I want to make 1,000% sure the uh, fumigation thing unlocks. And if it does, I will take my camera and show you guys me closing them. No, because I, I will not enjoy it <laughs> if we continue no, 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 like no. this. <laughs> That's why I... Of course, me, me neither. So I will take my camera and show them me closing them. It was only for this bug bit, which, which is stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. There's no point in fiddling with delicate electronics. George, you motherfucking piece of fuck. Uh, no. We need to talk with him first. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. If you wait now. So what's with the fumigation work going on upstairs? Death Watch Beetle. Whole buildings infested with them. Eating up my livelihood from the top down. The only so, tab I have open is the stream wood, now. What harm do they do? They fall in your food. They climb in your hair. They live in your bed and they are impossible to kill. Alfonso won't be happy. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. It could be my eyes, but is that something... This really is how I'm fun? currently feeling. It's the hands, pal. It's called time. Can't you see it? Oh, let it not be. What? A Death Watch Beetle? No! Not my precious clock! Since when Why can Alfonso open doors telepathically? Using that won't There's work. There's no beetles here. I've got no reason to try that. What? He didn't see the beetle? <laughs> Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. I know it could be my eyes, but I swear I just saw a death watch beetle running along the top of your clock. Don't joke with me, mister. Oh, I wouldn't joke about your precious. Huh? No!
I need a cat. What's he seeing? There's nothing here. It's a sliding partition guarding a greasy looking phone. Hey, leave that door alone. That's for paying customers only. But the other guy used it. I like his face. I don't like yours. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. Look, there's another one. Not again. One thing, I'm very happy they don't make you go get a new bug every fucking single time. Got it. Listen, pal, if you don't stop messing with my window, I'm gonna start messing with yours. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the thing I wanted to say about the bug thing is something I find very annoying when games do, do this is when they tie um, one specific dialogue to continue to one single click. You would assume that if George sees the whole dead beetle thing, that he also realizes, hmm, there might be some fumigation if I look one millimeter up. So I'm kind of pissed that they programmed it in this kind of rigid way that if you don't do one click, that's not logical. Since um, point and click game still needs to be logical, otherwise it gets a pixel hunt. I'm quite um, sensitive about I, this. I disagree. I mean, uh, the majority of point and clicks are doing this uh, mechanic. They could have uh, said something else when you try to use the beetle. I mean, uh, to tell you something like, uh, why should I use this one? So to give you a hint that uh, you don't have the reason and to, uh, to send you to try. We are talking about the same thing, but in a different way. You're tackling about no way giving that. another um, voice line hey, for when you use the beetle. What are you doing with those flowers? I'm a botanist, and these are really quite unusual. What? Beat it. And I'm saying... Flowers feel dry and dusty. Other things... I'm tackling it in a different way, but we are both coming to the you, same conclusion. Where? where did you get that jacket? A Chanaconda. Killed it myself. Oh, looks very shiny to be real snakeskin. Only believe. You know what? I need some fresh air. Okay, so we need to make a fire. But we need to distract him somehow. I, I can't uh, get a new one. Part of an antiquated fire alarm system. You deaf boy? At least I'm not in costume. Are you mocking me? Wouldn't dream of it. Hmm. Maybe we need to, uh, to talk with Alfonso again. A 
also, I'm sorry for the whole bit earlier uh, with the beetle. I, I, people might notice I'm not in my usual mood today. I'm just a bit sour of what happened at work the past week. Mr. Alfonso, so, uh, can you spare a moment? I hope we can quirk. still be entertaining. Let's relax, man. I shall try. It's Friday evening. No work for you tomorrow. I hope. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, it... it has. I will tell you post-stream. Okay. Hello again. Um, can you spare a moment? Okay, so we don't have uh, any other options here. Let's make a fire. Somehow. You know, I'm sometimes very good at giving subtle hints. In the whole conversation, apart from my genuine apology of uh, the beetle thing bit, um, I already gave a subtle hint. And no, I'm not gonna repeat the line. That's not such a good idea. Got a problem with your hearing, pal? Sorry, got a problem with the hearing. Leave the window alone, wise guy. Hey, that window stays shut. Sure thing, sure thing. Watch the hips, baby. Huh? Got a problem with your hearing, pal? Sorry, got a problem with the hearing. Leave the window alone, wise guy. That's not quite right. Just beat it before I beat you. Charming. Hello! Just beat it before I beat you. Charming. Using that won't work. I remember steps of this puzzle. That's not but quite right. Not the order. Oh. That's not such a good idea. Maybe I need to wait for him to start dancing or something like that. Now you say something, now I remember the order more. doing with those flowers i'm a botanist and these are really quite unusual what beat it i'm not going to open the door when it's clear they want privacy sometimes soda uh, fizzes so hard that the bubbles jump into your nose that's very fun The flowers are completely dry. Flowers feel dry and dusty. Mm. 
What would happen if you call bail bonds to your office? Maybe a call here would be asking for trouble. What did he say? There is a fault on this line. They must have smashed the office up pretty good. Hotel, what do you want? Hi there, I was wondering if you could help me. Hi, I was wondering if I could book a room for the evening. I'm sorry, sir, we're completely full. Are you sure? I'd happily take the box room. Oh, I'm sorry, family of boxes just took that. Ha! Are you sure there's nothing I can take for the night? Hey, listen, not even the big guy himself would get it tonight. There is no room uh -huh. at the inn. About this lack of room thing. Don't even try. About this lack of room thing. Don't even try. I I I I am not giving you a hint. I'm just hey, dancing. What are you doing with those flowers? I'm a botanist, and these are really quite unusual. What? Beat it. Hello. Just beat it before I beat you. Charming. Beat you in what? In video games? I don't think so. Beating us in being stuck in a hotel? Point taken. How painful would it be that you make an amazing piece of music and the only time it's used is in a corner of a Broken Sword 4 system. game? <laughs> Part of an antiquated fire alarm system. I would be so ashamed as a musician. Yeah, man. Probably we need to. Hmm. Maybe I can use this here. Hmm. That won't work here. No. Um. If we can make the music. be heard from that part of the hallway somehow i might have given you the all the hints you need already you know i'm a master wordsmith it's a pixel hunting thing again no It's more of a thing. Part of an antiquated fire alarm system. Now, if only you had some kind of button where you could press uh, for a Jones hint. Unless you don't want them anymore and you don't trust them anymore since Apparently, I'm leading you astray. And how I am doing that, forming words with my mouth, and almost looking like it's talking in a delay. <laughs> so it was a pixel hunting. No, it's not. Nothing. Must be broken. <laughs> what a surprise.
The call button looks like the original. It's broken. What's the point? It's broken. What's the point? Seriously, if you want if you want a hint, just tell me. No man, no. Okay, let, uh, let me be clear. If I say, uh, if you want a hint, it's not me saying, you want a hint now, now? No, no, it's at some period in time in the future, when your brain decides you want a hint, you can utter the words you want a hint, and I'm making a bit out of this, to try to make as long as of a sentence as as I can with this, but I'm really failing, and I think this bit isn't funny anymore. The bit wasn't funny anymore, wasn't it? There's no point, it's out of order. Now, we we like to talk about retro games, don't we? I just got a notification on my phone for something. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? <sighs> if you make it quick. You know what celebrates its 25th birthday yesterday? A game? Yeah, and a very popular one. An so Atari game. game. Atari. 25th? Mm -hmm. Atari game from 99? And, and <laughs> it, it's made by a mad lad who programmed it totally in assembly. There are three good games about it, but the fourth game was a disaster. You like uh, give me, giving me hints about uh, all kind of... <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and each title had an expansion pack. But giving the names of the expansion packs gives the series away. It was also ported to the PlayStation 2, if memory serves me correctly. EA had also a very popular series um, as an answer. Uh, I don't know, man. At, uh, Atari. This is Those sprinklers look like they could squirt out lots of water. Now, now the developer also is very popular for other games. The developer is Atari or is it the distribution? Distribution. Okay, then it's a real Current distribution. No. It's not a shooter. Well, let me just say, saying the genre is part of the name. A simple numeric keypad by the cleaner's closet. The number of combinations must be immense. There's no point in guessing. I'm gonna give it away How with saying this. You build in it. You what? You build in it. Uh, what? The roller coaster tycoon? Bingo. <laughs>
It's celebrating but, its 25th birthday this week. Uh, it's interesting that we had it. Uh, we had. Uh, we had it featured in our latest video on the <laughs> on the Romanian channel. If you That's can believe amazing. it. <laughs> I mean, you can look at the beginning of the video and uh, you'll see some uh, something from the game, from mm -hmm. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, but uh, the long video, because we have a... I mean, you can look, we have a trailer also. Uh, you should look at the long video. You know which other game got released in 1999? Commandos. Shadow Man. Okay. Resident Maybe. Evil 3. Maybe Super we Smash need to Brothers. finish it. Super Smash Brothers, Age of Empires 2, Driver, Siphon Filter, The oh, Longest Journey. Just beat it before I beat you. A lot Shen of Lu. games which are on our list. Tomb Raider 4. Uh, a very a series that's also near and dear to your heart. It's about a knight. Gabriel Knight Three. Yes. And it, and the second game in a series that's very near and dear to my heart. Oh. Persona. Hello. Just beat it before I beat you. Charming. Hey. And, and just to continue, Ape Escape, Jet Force Gemini, Rayman 2, World of Zomageddon, Pokemon Snap, um, Age of Wonders, Mario Party 2, Pokemon Silver, uh, Spyro 2, Pepsi Man, <laughs> um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, um, oh. Silent Hill, the hey! first Silent Hill. What are you doing with those flowers? I'm a botanist, and these are really so, quite unusual. What? Yeah. Beat it. Maybe I need to be distracted. Come on, go! Quick! Hey! Fucking! What are you doing with those flowers? <laughs> I'm a so earlier so I said, maybe I need some fresh air. Yeah, maybe, uh, man. Is no, uh, there's no need because the usual way you resolve this, you need to. Uh, stay a while and listen <laughs> to what's happening in the game. I mean, it's not normal to... <laughs> I know. So that's why I ask you not to give um, hints hey, until I'm like, like asking you. Shut. Sure thing, sure thing. Yeah, and that's why I sometimes give my hints in, in the conversation as... politely as possible, so they don't get noticed. I find it a fun challenge. And I succeed in them. I love it. Okay, let's see. I have one person who uh, poked me on Discord for that. Who noticed me doing that. And I really love that viewers pick up on that. But I'm trying to... When your wish to not make them as obvious as possible... To not go overboard and make them very obvious, since that would defeat. Yeah, you can uh, you can take a, uh, take a break <laughs> completely, oh, and uh, let's talk no. about other things because uh, I told my you shoot. I will not uh, enjoy the game my otherwise. Uh, okay.
I remember a certain movie scene. Of the Last Crusade. Maybe a call here would be asking for trouble. Standing right next to her, she'd think I'm an idiot. What? She's already here? Teleported? Uh, or is a fire exit outside of the bathroom window or something stupid like that? Hmm. I think something should have happened, some dialogue or something. I'm not going to stick my hands in there. There it it's is. It's a weapon of mass <laughs> extraction. But somehow I need to move it to let Anna Maria in. On or off, I'm not going to stick conductive metals in that thing. For real. Shutters when it slows down. I bet this room's got the highest mortality rate in the city. On or off, I am not going to stick my hands in there. But somehow I need to move it to let Anna Maria in. I'm sorry. But I'm losing brain cells with the solution. The string's still dangling from the grill. Do I really want to take the string? And it's not something stupid that you put the other um, end of the string to uh, the golf club. On or off, I'm not going to stick conductive metals in that thing. Okay, that's not it. Huh. The string's still dangling from the grill. Do I really want to take the string? What if you combine the string and the uh, club in your inventory? That's not such a good idea. Okay. So it's not that kind of an order thing? So it's not using the club to pull out the thing since even when it's off, George refuses to... Hmm. Maybe if you call That's her now... not such a good idea. Maybe it's something like... Uh, she pushes it from the outside. No, I don't think so. It, it, it's a shot in the dark I'm doing here. And as you know, I close all walkthroughs so I didn't, can't even cheat. No, let's uh, see if we have uh, something she else. No, no, hmm. I am... You're, you're misinterpreting me. I am taking shots at the dark here. Since I don't exactly remember the solutions. Nine chances out of ten. It will be the string and something else. Since otherwise the game wouldn't allow you to attach the string to the fan thing. Sounds logical? Yeah. Maybe we need to do something... Uh to prolong it, to make it longer, somehow. The bad sheet, that, that, that would be funny, but... Or this? What the fuck is that? Hmm, it's a pen with the logo of a black cat embossed on it. <laughs> if it's gonna be dead... It's the pen with a black cat logo on it. I'm gonna be pissed.
glued shut by layers of ancient paint. Doesn't matter. The window to the alley isn't on this side of the room anyway. Glued shut by layers of ancient paint. No matter. The window to the alley isn't on this side of the room anyway. Okay. What was the solution again? Again, I'm going to be so pissed if you use the marker and the string combined or something. Uh, you can't open the medicine cabinet or something. Using that won't work. Okay. The, the, not the trash cans. Okay. Then. Hmm. Well, let's start it like this. Yeah. What? <laughs> Stupid stuff. You know what I think about <laughs> shit like that? Over here. Anyway, to make a good uh, impression of the game, you you really need to play so it without any hints. Otherwise, uh, time, this is bullshit. You get the fire escape. Oh yeah, well maybe next time I'll charge double. Now how do we get out of here? The alley's full of bad guys. And there's some even badder guys out there. So what about the safe? Oh my God, what's happened here? The whole place has been turned over, and the manuscript—it's gone, gone. I'm sorry, Anna Maria, but we'll figure out what to do, I promise. Oh, George, it just means so much to me. I know, I know. My family, we're not rich. You see, the treasure, I think I've built it up so much. Now look, you tell me everything you can remember about the manuscript and maybe I can help. Okay, I'll try. The manuscript, well, it's on old parchment. And, and there's writing, Latin writing. Uh-huh. So it's old, with Latin writing on it. Well, that sure narrows it down. If you're going to be like that, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> well, give me a break, will you? What else was on it? There must have been something. Pictures. Beautiful pictures. Can you remember any? One. It, there's one. Oh, it's so beautiful, George. A crusader on horseback, fighting a dragon, everything red and gold. Not again. Still not a lot to go on. You don't believe me, do you? You think I'm just making it up? Of course I believe you. I just don't think I can help you till we find the manuscript. Maybe the guys who took it left clues. Exactly. And all we have to do is find them. Easy. Hey, that's my line. Well, you better get used to sharing. That's better. Just don't worry, Anna Maria. I am going to get your manuscript back. I promise. Are we still enjoying the stream, guys? It's a bit silent in chat today. A great game. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> or maybe are kibbling and arguing about using a walkthrough or my shitty hints is scaring the people off. I'm maybe. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Please no. forgive me. The safe's been I will make out. an apology video if you want to. Manuscript. Uh, yesterday I saw a video of totally a kid uh, going to Halloween totally empty. Apart from the dust. as a costume apology video. And he just printed out on a big... Uh, plywood sheet. Hmm. Your typical Was apology video shit. Cuban. And he was doing like, I'm sorry I did those things. And please, could you donate to this charity for me? <laughs> it's a whole fucking bit. And if the people want, I will do that whole fucking Adam bit Ray. as well. Yes, George. I will chat GPT generate the script if you even want to. Yeah, but no donation, man. Please. 
can do it. Why not? Free money is free money. <laughs> You're sure the manuscript's gone? I mean, it's not under all this paper. No, it's much larger and written on old parchment. Well, I'll get it back for you, no matter what, Anna Maria. The guy who was guarding your room, I gave him a good soaking. How do you mean? Well, I had to get him out of the way, so I set the sprinklers off. And that worked? He loved his appearance. I couldn't resist. He was a throwback from an Elvis lookalike contest. Not very inconspicuous, then. True. Okay, so we found a cigar. A Cuban cigar. What else? I wonder... Is there something in the bathroom? It would be silly if there is something on the fire exit. Okay, we can't even go to the fire exit. Let's check. Now that I have let fresh air in, I will close my door. Now my mind is currently a piece of paper, blank. That joke was as paper thin as a piece of paper. Okay, that, that jokes aren't landing, shit. Totally empty, apart from the dust. Totally empty, apart from the dust. You know what I really miss at the moment? The hotspots thing from Broken Soul 3. Hey, was there a hotspot on the desk there? Yeah, but uh, it's the Cuban cigar. Okay. Told. The ashtray. The ashtray. Don't be so sad, George. It's the pen with a black cat logo on it. Okay. Maybe if I he, show it to... He, he sounds so sad. It's the pen with the black cat logo on it. What do you make of this pen? I've never seen it before. See the logo? A black cat. What do you think it means? Beats me. Good luck. Hmm. <clears throat> you have a black cat. Uh, I had a black cat. And I have to say... Black cats can be the nicest cats out there. Okay, let's make a save. And uh, let's ask about the pen. You okay? Now he's in his element. Not into rain, huh? This jacket shrinks. I'll never get out of it. I'd like to see that. Beat it, mister. This ain't no freak show. That's not such a good idea.
Now, this is a stupid mechanic. Here, Come on, man. when you want to open, go through the doors, when you did this once, the game yeah, should stupid. recognize yeah. game. Yeah. There are two potential candidates for asking. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. That's not the right approach. He should know. That's Logic dictates. Right. What the fuck? I mean, geese in a pet uh, shop. Can you spare a moment? Hmm. Okay, maybe we need another hint on the room. Something we didn't Possibly. see. I believe we cannot exit the hotel. Unless we can, and it's a game over. I've got to deal with Anna Maria, and I'm not bailing out yet. Boo! It would be so funny that, that George is like, Fuck it, I'm gonna go home, and then game over. <laughs> Some games do pull that stunt. AI the Simomium files have a bit that pull that stunt. And if we ever play that on stream, I'm so gonna uh, push you in that ending. It's a funny one. It's a real funny one. You know something? One thing, it's not a PG one, but it's a funny one. Um, I, I'm quite uh, enjoying the game No, to be honest. I mean, uh, it's better than I uh, expected. Again. That isn't the window I need. Uh, I was I wondering, I... you know other games uh, uh, which are uh, like this mm -hmm. one? I mean, with this kind of graphics and this kind of controls, <laughs> which I said earlier that I hate them, but I got used to them now. <laughs> I, I, I have this effect on people when playing games. People start loving them. No, I, I'm not that egocentric. <laughs> uh... For real, if I start act, act this egocentric, knock me a peg or two down, I can be egocentric like that for a bit to make a joke like I just Adam did. Maria? Yes, George? But it's very poisonous to be very egocentric and not care about others. But what I wanted to say is sometimes... Um, the fog of time uh, clouds your judgment and what i mean here is when this game first came out people were not happy the controls were not immediately clear or you were fighting a bit with the controls and they were more expecting to go back to the 2D style of Broken Swords no and um, you have seen the whole discussion with the Beetle incident, I will call it. Um, and But now that the game had some time to ripe, it's not a green banana anymore. It's a deliciously yellow one. It can be it can still have some brown spots where it's overripe and doesn't have good mechanics or mechanics that didn't age well, but it's still a good banana. Was that a good analogy? Yes, it was. Since I can can expand the analogy to uh, a Dutch saying, it's a little bit green after the years. 
saying that um, something inexperienced or unfinished um, that person has green after the years like um, fruit that started growing like green tomatoes or a green banana yay I'm going into my nerdy language talks Mm. Okay, let's concentrate on the matter at hand. <laughs> uh, so, we know about this one. We have a phone number. That's not <laughs> such a good idea. Um, I'm sorry, what did you just do? I tried to put the... Uh, mm. The pen I got on no the phone. To try that. Maybe yeah. it had a phone number. <laughs> yeah, let's just invent the phone number. Mm, that won't work here. <laughs> you want to? I, I thought you want to draw a mustache on on Anna Maria. That's something. not quite right. No, that's from another game. In uh, Gabriel Knight Three, you. <laughs> You use. Uh, you remember that puzzle with the cat from Gabriel Night Three? It's uh, it's so hilarious I'm, that even I, has I, a I Wikipedia gonna, page. It has a. I'm gonna Wikipedia. say something. I'm gonna say something and hide immediately. I haven't played Gabriel Night. Ah yeah, I remember not. <laughs> anyway, uh, it has a hilarious uh, puzzle with. Uh, a black cat you somehow need to uh, get her uh, its hair to make a mustache uh, it has a wikipedia page it's you are hilarious. not gonna kill me you're not gonna kill no, me no, that no, I man, no, okay. it's not considered a great game so i can understand it's one of my favorites but uh, i know that uh, it's not a really well regarded game. But, you know, uh, we can we can start a whole thing about that. We can also say, I'm enjoying Paul World and Paul World and it's... God damn it. Sorry. Uh, my body was doing some strange things. So, I am enjoying Paul World. It's really clicking with me. The since Astra. I enjoyed playing games like The Survivalists, um, Ark Survival Evolve was okay, but missed some depth. And uh, a bit of Pokemon, but minus the Pokemon battles. And it's really clicking with me, Pal World. But I think even if I held you at gunpoint, you won't enjoy Pal World. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Uh... No, for sure, it's not my cup of tea, I told you. I will not even try it. <laughs> Usually I don't play these kind of games uh, which uh, you can play all your life. <laughs> Something like that. No. I, mean, I, I like to try a lot, of, a lot of things to experiment, so I will not go uh, uh... that direction. <laughs> A funny thing about the expression a cup of tea in Dutch we say a cup of coffee instead of a cup of tea. Whoa. <laughs> That's interesting. Um. Uh, in Romanian, uh, you know what uh, we are saying? Uh, uh, a lot of things I am learning through dueling. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, for this kind of expression, uh, we uh, we have uh, is not my general. No, <laughs> general <laughs> It's not my general. So it's uh, the equivalent for uh, not my cup of tea in Romania. Because you we don't have say... this uh, literally in Romanian, not my cup of tea. Yeah. 
I, I mean, you, you almost go the German way with your suffixes to extend the words. Have you seen the length of some German words? Yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of memes about this. Man, uh, I'm not sure what we should do now. So, I mean, we are close to that moment when I will allow you to give me a very subtle hint. <laughs> I mean, very this subtle. Is one, this is one of the longest existing, and uh, don't ask me what it is, but German words. Oh, okay. I don't ask you what it is, but I will ask you to read it. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so, it's time for a subtle hit. hint. Reopening closed walkthroughs. Oh, so you don't remember anything. Indeed. Okay, okay. And and that's one of the main reasons why I have on a hidden tab a walkthrough when I need to give a subtle hint when you ask me and I don't even know myself. Except when we that were playing example indeed. Fate of Atlantis, you have seen me doing the maze by taking bloody screenshots in indeed. fucking paints. You can see that when you rewatch uh, our VODs. Okay, so uh, I will uh, ask you something and I just want an answer uh, for the hint. It's something that I'm missing in this room. Uh, so, or in the bedroom. Be more specific. I mean, I'm missing, uh, I didn't see something to a clue. It's something related to pixel hunting. Uh, mm. Okay, I will say it like this. Item or action? What do you want to know? <laughs> I am not going to do that. If I'm missing an item first. No. Um... So, no, let's put it like this. There is a spot that I didn't click. Even if uh, I didn't do the needed action. No. Okay. Mm, Hold on, can you repeat the, the question exactly? So I, to make sure I didn't mishear you. Totally empty. If uh, there is a spot in this room or in the bathroom, I didn't click on it yet. Then, then my answer stays. No, okay. Uh, because I want to stop uh, making uh, pixel hunting. <laughs> okay, and the next question is if uh, I can resolve the... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Since... You know what I said earlier? That walkthroughs are talking against each other? It's one of these situations again. I am gonna blacklist this walkthrough since it's full of fucking lies and it's confusing the fuck out of me. I'm mm. gonna use uh, a, a Dutch walkthrough website that I know is safe and has very good walkthroughs uh, but the annoying thing is it's written in Dutch and um, it's like literally translated sometimes okay so your answer is uh, different it's something I'm missing in this room hold on hold on hold on it would be very nice if they had uh, uh, an option to to highlight it's... the yeah you have already clicked on the spot but it's not in this room 
uh, not even in the bedroom, no? It's not in Anna's room. But not even in the bedroom? That's part of Anna's room. Okay, okay. Just think back when we had the whole Beatles incident. There is one spot you haven't further investigated yet. I know that's not that subtle, I know, but I know. Uh, keep away from the door. You're learning fast, boy. The number of combinations must be immense. There's no point in guessing. How can I get the code for the door? It's the door to the cleaner's closet. From the state of this place, I'd reckon the cleaner committed suicide long ago. There's a knocking coming from behind the door. Hey! I know, I know, keep away from the door. You're learning fast, boy. I know that was less of a subtle hint, but... Uh, I'm gonna say the solution is... Hello! You again? What do you want? I just checking you haven't caught your death a cold. It's not my death you should be worrying about. Ah, well, there, I, just I said it. Oh, was I muted? I'm sorry. <clears throat> I don't want to cross the barrier for fear of my health. You know, this isn't the hint, but this is just how I play point and clicks now. Is and maybe your experience with point and clicks is different, but you know, I also play those hidden object games. In most of those hidden object games, Mr. You Alfonso, also have a... can you spare a moment? <sighs> if you make it quick. Yes. You have a map. And it says uh, when you have done everything on that place. And when I play point and click games, either I write it down or I make a mental note of spots where I can still have an interaction. And when I am not able to have an interaction. If I were to touch those faucets, I'd catch something pretty nasty. Anymore then I just disregard the whole area. Yeah, now I was coming here uh, thinking uh, if I can get the code from Alfonso. That's the reason yeah, I came here. But that's very fair. But it would be very strange if he would give it to you. It would be very out of character. Then again... There is something like moon logic and pixel hunting in these kind of games, so... For the people not knowing what moon logic is, is it's a term when, for example... Um, Alfonso's lighter donated to you, cause. You need to extinguish a fire by pissing on it. Like, solutions that That's are so... That's such a good idea. Out of there, you need to think to the moon and back. Maria's hotel. And by the way, um, pissing out a fire is a real story. A simple numeric keypad by the cleaner's club. Just look up, uh, well, not the real story, a, le a real legend here in Belgium. Just look up uh, the most famous statue in Brussels. <laughs> Clabat knows what it is. <laughs> Why he started laughing, I think. The pissing baby? Yeah. It's broken. What's the point? The amount of tourists that are there to take a picture of it, it rivals 
the one time I saw the Mona Lisa in the Louvre in Paris. System. The guy looks drenched and angry. Did I not tell you to get lost? Yeah, but... But nothing. Scram! My bail bond ID. It's the key card I stole from Thelwell. Now, Doors locked. if if we end this section. I'm not gonna um, when it's clear they want privacy. I think we should end the stream since um the locked. tonight it's um going from uh winter time to summertime. So it's an hour less sleep. Okay. It's a deal. Um Okay, I will ask you another hint now. Especially mm -hmm. that uh, you said uh, you want to finish the stream. Uh, tell me if uh, I, I need to find a solution now to enter here. Okay. Yes. And I need the code, probably. Yes. Hey! I know, I know. Keep away from the door. You're learning fast, boy. Very good voice acting. It's the door to the cleaner's closet. There's a knocking coming from behind the door. <laughs> Ooh, that's nasty. A pile of dead bugs at the bottom of the stairwell. Do you see George Mount moving, or is it me? Ooh, that's nasty. It's not moving uh, when it's sinking. Okay. Oh, it the uh, it barely has any sound difference when it's internal monologue and out loud. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe we can do something with Anna. The solution is so obvious. And why is our ponytail clipping Can't again? Really? Yes, George. The solution is obvious. Mm hmm. Think out loud for a second. You know what? I'm going to the bedroom. I'll be right back. Hotel, what do you want? Hi there, I was wondering if you could help me. About this lack of room thing. Don't even try. <laughs> I am not going to do that. Maybe who's ever in there can write out the code. If they have something to write with. <laughs> 
which they probably don't. Maybe this pen will help him out. Someone's shuffling in there. And there's the pen and the flyer back again. There's a number scribbled on the flyer. 5837X. The number scribbled on the flyer is my best bet. Here goes nothing. My God, are you okay? I am now. Thank you. Um... Hey, call me George. What happened? One minute. I'm looking for some cleaner. Next thing I know, I'm being bundled in here and it all goes dark. Did you get a good look at the guy who did it? It sounds crazy, but he looked just like Elvis. Uh -huh. Maybe I need to get the bathroom earlier. <laughs> he also had a tattoo. A tattoo of a snake wrapped around an immense... Don't mind me. That's him. You won't get away this time, punk. Okay, Anna Maria. The goons are gone, but the cops will be here soon. We better get out of here. But where are we gonna go? To see a friend about your manuscript. Don't tell me. Hey, glad you could stop by, George. If you see anything that hasn't been smashed, help yourself. Finish the place off, huh? Better still torch it. Raise it to the ground. Virgil, you're upset. I can see that. That's why I went into business with you, partner. That amazing detective brain. We got insurance, don't we? You let it lapse, remember? Ah. Uh, so, uh, what's with the gizmo? This, this is my MP3 player, man. What's left of it? The greatest soul and R&B collection ever. Smashed. Destroyed. By you. How am I gonna work without the sounds of Maggie J. Blind, huh? How am I gonna sleep without the greatest hits of Barry Brown, the hippo of love? How am I gonna sing in my shower without my dose of Malteser? These are rhetorical questions, I guess, right, Virgil? They're burning and forthright questions, man! I can buy you another! No! You can't. Last shipment came into the city, somebody stole them all. Could be months before the next one. I could have been killed, and all Virgil does is whine about his player. I have a manuscript to get back. Um, okay, so you said that we'll save here, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and uh, we'll continue next week. The we broken sword four is like uh the third one, and I will say something uh, controversial now. The fourth one, by the way. No, it's uh, like it was with the third one. With, ah, uh, okay. I mean, I had the impression that it's uh, it Sorry, was really I bad, you. and I enjoy it. I will tell you this thing. This game, uh, until now, I feel like it's better than the third one. In terms of point and click uh puzzles even if it had some uh, moon logic as you said real but uh, i think it's better uh the only yeah problem it, and it's getting smaller and smaller it's the problem with the controls but i'm getting used to with the controls and uh yeah uh, see a perfect example what the moon logic is doing like the whole we i will call it the whole beetle incident of today Mm. I'm sorry, but that's moon logic. Could be. The, f the, the fact that you really needed to click on that sign. I mean, a logical person, when you see a lot of fucking dead beetles on the ground, and you see you know above why, uh, the I beetles want... a rope. I mean, one, one and one is two. Yeah, uh, I I get what you're saying, but uh, I want to leave that uh, one outside because it wasn't a natural progression of that puzzle because uh, you, you wanted to give me a hint and uh, 
we we didn't uh, had a natural progression because of that. We started trying uh, something else, and maybe if we did uh, the puzzle without uh, trying to skip it, uh, yeah, we but, but feel that something else about it. Agreed, but that was because it was logical in my mind that uh, when you picked up the bug, also you unlocked the um, conversation option. And I was looking a bit at chat while that was happening, and I thought you already did the um, fumigation. Yeah, anyway. Talk. But so it, it, circumstances. What I want to say is that this game has. Uh, a lot more uh, puzzles than the third one. Yeah. And uh, um... they are more complicated. They are more uh, like we were used to uh, in the early games. Even that if brings... some of them, they are not the best. I mean, even the puzzle with the door was a bit... What the fuck, man? That was the solution to break the door. <laughs> I mean, it has logic, but... I don't know. Uh... But any, anyway, I'm curious to continue the game. And uh... hearing you speak about that, that brings me to uh, another interesting fact: is uh, I am a Zelda fan, true and true. And one of my favorite games are the uh, Oracle games on the Game Boy Color, um, made by Capcom of all studios. Um, and you know what they actually did? First of all, they wanted to make a trilogy. So, um, Oracles of Secrets, but that one was scrapped. But in Oracles of Ages and Oracles of Secrets, they split the Zelda formula right in twine, right in, in two. So, Oracles of Seasons is more the action um, adventure. Um, genre and Oracles of Ages is more of a puzzle adventure game and it's when you play those ga you can play those games back to back and link them and play them in any order and it's fun it, it, it's really fun to see something unique with the with a formula that's try well tried and tested. Yeah, in case of uh, broken sword games, uh, uh, probably the feeling will be that the fifth one was much better than the third and the fourth. We'll see. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting to uh, to replay the entire series, but uh, it's a fact that. Uh, mm, in my mind, the games were much worse than they really are, to be honest. And and that's why I always give games a fair chance. And I try to remember um, every game, except when you're Action 52, has good in them. There was something else, I think. In that period, we had a lot of point-and-click games. <laughs> We were used with them, mm -hmm. and uh, after uh, the 2010s, let's say, uh, we had fewer and fewer, at least uh, not triple A's <laughs> anymore. True, true, true. Because I include in the triple A's uh, Broken Sword, for example, the Siberia series, and also the Longest Journey series, uh, and we didn't have mm -hmm. another series that you could compare it with. Uh, these ones. <clears throat> so now, going back to one of these series, uh, we look uh, at them with uh, other eyes, let's say. <laughs> yeah. Games with that different eyes. Games that really sh see sort of a revival, but I wish to see more, are games like Horizon Zero Dawn, the Tomb Raider games. Indiana Jones and the Great Geometric Circle. Um, still, that's a bullshit name. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep making fun of it even when we play it. 
Um, I mean, I mean, there are people who got erased by Pixar inventing the name Cars. What did you smoke? And can I have something of it? I think it's good. I, I don't get it. This city names. So Stop with the city names. The you mean the Cars uh, series from Pixar or what? Yeah. What's somebody up with got it? a somebody got a raise by just inventing the title Cars. I mean, it's a movie about cars. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, in terms of point and click games, I think it will be fun. Uh, after uh, we go through all these uh, old series of games, uh, to to try some of the point and clicks, uh, indie point and clicks, because this is all that we have now. One one which is uh, really representative, but a classic one which you can would compare with Broken Sword One, Two in terms of uh, the looks and the uh, way you control it. I mean, not first person. -y, Beneath the sky. Uh, yeah, that one will be interesting uh, to try the, the entire series. All uh, and anyway, it was um, it is on our list, I think. Beneath us, us the sky. If I can do it before you look at it, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Because uh, yes. anyway, we want to play all the revolution game, so uh, it must be on our I, list. I, 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 I'm totally not adding them right now. <laughs> I'm totally not buying myself some time. Then yeah, but even me. Broken Sword, it's, uh, which is, we consider it uh, quite active as a series, uh, um, we just established what, that we have that 11 years. What? Yeah. What's that other game, uh, Louvre Tempest? Uh, yeah, that's the first one that they released. I think it's 91. It was released yeah. in 91, that game. Day of the oh, Day of the Tentacle Remastered is already on the list. Yeah, that one will be two streams, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, uh, it's relaxing that one also. But uh, yeah, a revolution. But Grim Fandango. Yeah, you could uh, put Grim Fandango also the remaster version. It's already on the list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else? If if my mind goes in that place, in that area, uh, how silly am I allowed to go? I don't know. Uh, for example, there are some uh, games, point and click games. Uh, you know me. I I love the nineties, and the. Uh, I would like to cover as many as we can from that period. The CSI games. No, that's a no for me. <laughs> I mean, we have so many better games which really have puzzles and mechanics to go in that direction. I mean, I told you, I'm playing now ABC Murders. It's like a CSI game. Yeah. Uh, I can take my physical copy from my... Yeah, I have it also physical. I want to get it also on Switch. It's a, uh, I like it. I play it on Steam Deck. I like uh, how it looks. I like the... Mechanic, but it's really, really easy. And uh, you don't have uh, basically just a few puzzles. And uh, uh, all the puzzles are uh, enclosed in one room. You have all the lead, uh, clues uh, in the same room. So mm -hmm. it's not very difficult. And I will compare it with uh, CSI because it's the same type of game and uh, it has the same type of mechanics. I don't think it's uh, really uh, fun for streaming. But That's in the bad. 90s, there are a lot of uh, interesting point and click games because uh, they are uh, uh, one of the most important genre then, point and clicks. So there are even uh, some of them that. Uh, uh, we I didn't play, which are not that bad, even if uh, this was one of my favorite uh, genres because there were so many back then. 
For example, uh, another interesting series is Dark Seed. I'm sure you know it. Uh, it has been a long time I've seen him in chat. Dark Seed? No, not Darky. <laughs> Dark Seed. Um, which uh, we could try it. It's it's a series uh, uh, I couldn't finish the first game and the second one I didn't start it. The second one it's um, weaker than the first one, but uh, the first one uh, it's a bit difficult because it's um, is the kind of point and click in which uh, you do some actions and you you cannot uh, go back and you can go on in a wrong direction. I mean, I mean it's not a linear game. And uh, you you can uh, be in a situation that uh, you didn't pick something up and uh, you are uh, blocked. Soft blocked. Yeah, and not soft blocked. The game will finish because uh, you will not be able to escape uh, one of the situations. Let's say. <laughs> Sounds a bit like the RPG my favorite streamer is working on. Since if you apply that idea game idea where you always can continue but the story advances to the path you take in the game um so my favorite streamer uh pirate software is actually making an rpg with that idea um yeah called hardbound by the way yeah but i think it's something different because in dark seed you know that uh, you messed up I mean, uh, you can continue at, and then uh, one moment uh, you realize that you messed up. It's not like uh, you go to another finish, uh, another uh, ending, you know. You are in one moment, you realize that you didn't had something to go further and uh, it's finished there. So it's something uh, which is a bit frustrating in my opinion. In an RPG, you can go different paths and uh, it's something uh, which is not frustrating. Not always. Something, something game over. But if it's game time. over, yeah. Uh, anyway, there are not many point and clicks that do this because it's something that uh, usually you don't enjoy <laughs> in a point and click. Mm -hmm. um... But I would like to to try that game, but probably will need uh, um, to have some help from a walkthrough from time to time. I mean, if we m m mess something up to, to be able to yeah. retry it, to, to check. Otherwise, uh, I think it's uh, it's very difficult. What was, the, what was that point then? Clay game made from clay again. Um... Uh, it's also a very old school one. I don't With know. A chicken like uh, dude. Bad mouth or something like that. Mm. The Neverhood. Ah, the, oh, the Neverhood, yeah. I, I, I'm i just adding to the list, guys. It's currently at 98. Yeah, in terms of point and clicks, uh, I mean, I am prepared to to be able to play even games which are not uh, available digitally. You know that I have a big collection, and I the also Ponya? have. I don't consider them classic yet. Okay. Uh, they are too new for my taste. I'm uh, thinking more about the '90s period and. Uh, to, to try some of the, for um, example, it would be nice to try uh, some of the best uh, FMVs. FMVs usually uh, are really Machinarium. bad. Machinarium. It's too new again. I think it, uh, it's after 2005. So it's too new for me. Um, uh, for example, uh, Black Dahlia. It's an interesting FMV, which was considered really hard, but the story is really interesting. I mean, it's a... Um, uh, seventh Guest? We can try it. I, I played Seventh Guest. Uh, I, I cannot say it's fantastic. 
it it was one of the first uh, games that did this and the has another one after it uh, 11 hour it's called but black dahlia oh, yeah, it's a really the, interesting the uh, fmv with a really good uh, yeah. actors in it ladies and gentlemen now you are seeing something behind the screen uh, behind <laughs> the screens Clement and I just throwing games to each other, and I throw Clock Tower series back to you. Okay, it's a series I I want to, to try, so we could put it there. So we are past one hundred games now. So it's uh, a done no, deal. We are, that... on, we are on one hundred. <laughs> okay, it's a deal that will still uh, be here after ten years. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> until we finish that uh, list. Sure. Today, in our 1,100th stream, <laughs> I turn 91, and today we are starting a new game called... Um, Call of Duty. <laughs> what, what was it again, Clarence? <laughs> Back in our day, we had a keyboard and a mouse. <laughs> Back to the future. It's another game. <laughs> it is a um, game, yeah, you know? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so this is it with uh, tonight's stream. We had um, a surprise, a nice surprise with this one, at least me. Uh, Neko already knew that the game is not that bad. I was the one uh, needed yeah. to be convinced about this. And 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 then sorry for the strange things today. I, as I said a million times, I'm a bit in a sour mood because bad week. So sorry. Um, okay, tomorrow a uh, more relaxed uh, stream in which we can discuss you will uh, more you because will we don't have uh, too much dialogue in the game. We play Tomb Raider 2 Remaster mm -hmm. and uh, with modern controls. I continue using them because I mm -hmm. like them. And uh, next week, uh, our usual streams, we started yesterday another code air the second game in the another code recollection a game exclusive for the switch uh, we'll continue next friday broken sword for angel of death and uh, i'm pretty sure that we'll not finish tomb raider 2 remaster tomorrow unless we find the glitch and we skip right to the end for some fucking reason and uh no one more thing the last uh, thing that I want to say, uh, we already decided which game we'll play after we finish another code recollection is the first Commandos from 1998, I think it is. So a really, really old game. <laughs> and one other thing, uh, in during the coming two weeks, uh, it will be announced. We will do a special Let's Play of uh, a still in development game where the demo released called Anna's Lullaby and we have a third person then the developer himself it will be a really interesting stream we'll try to popularize it more than we do yeah. usually do and, and and that's and this is something special i arranged due to my connections due to my blog check uh, Neko's blog but I don't think you'll have uh, anything new until tomorrow I mean until or Sunday. the day after that yeah Sunday okay maybe I will give you guys an Easter present <laughs> uh, for us Orthodox uh, we still need to wait I think three weeks until it is Easter <laughs> and you need to feast as well then no 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 <laughs> um okay man good night everyone thank you for being here and uh, we'll see you tomorrow with uh, tomb raider 2 remastered with uh, modern contours bye bye yeah. bye bye